had a great job there. I actually made more money than my husband did, so it was, it felt really good. And then I had my son, <laughs> and I've been a stay-at-home mom since. You know, I went from this great paying job, working full-time, to full-time being a mommy, and I have no regrets. Loved it. Loved staying home, raising my kids. Loved being able to go on all the field trips and, you know, be involved, drag them all over the country, dragging eight little boys to a basketball game today and you know so no regret that I got to stay home and raise my boys. I wouldn't have been able to stay home and make all the memories I'm making with my boys because right now I'm all about making the memories with my kids and you know embedding in them so they'll re always remember me you know and all the things I did with them and yeah if I had a job I wouldn't be able to be home you know when they got home from school I wouldn't be able to be volunteering in their classes as much as I do. And so, it, I mean, God had a plan for me, I guess. A lot of chemicals that we shouldn't be eating, and I would like to see restaurants offer healthy foods for people that want that option and for people that are challenged with what they eat. I, I'm really challenged with my weight. I have to, you know, watch what I do. And um, I just, that's why I would want to. I would want just some good, healthy, like foods that, you know, are prepared in restaurants that, you know, you would prepare at home, but can go out to eat if you didn't want to cook and know that it's all healthy and all organic. But that's what I would want to do. And that's why is, you know, I'm not convinced totally, but I'm pretty positive that's why people get cancer is the food we eat and the things we're exposed to. When I was diagnosed with cancer, um, the year before I was diagnosed, I had a good friend from Ukiah who had breast cancer. And I went and visited her over in Fort Bragg, um, right there at the end of her life, about a month before she passed away. And um, she had a journal in her hospital room that we could write in, um, just words to her. And I remember writing in her journal that um, if I ever got cancer, she was my role model. I wanted to be just like her because she was so strong and so positive and so happy. She beat cancer twice and she had two young children and she actually lived long enough to see her youngest graduate from high school and then about a week later she passed away. So she was like my role model. Um, so I know when I was diagnosed with cancer, I knew I never wanted to be like other people that I saw that was just ho-hum, poor me. You know, when you'd see them, how are you doing? No, I'm okay. She was always, I mean, she, it was, I mean, she was at the very end of her life, no hair. She would weigh about 75 pounds and she still smiled and she still was so grateful for everything she had in her life. So she was absolutely the biggest impact anybody's ever made on my life. Um, and she was the reason why I have gotten through cancer the way I've gotten through it was by watching her and watching how I, I, just everything, how she handled it. And I can't believe I wrote those words to her. I, and a good friend of mine who still lives there read them to me. And it was like, did I bring this on to myself? Did I make myself get cancer by writing that to her and wanting to be like her? I don't know, but she was someone who made, had a, a huge impact on my life and how I wanted to get through cancer. To survive cancer and watch my kids graduate from high school. That's my biggest goal. And, you know, get married and have their own family. Special wisdom, I don't know, you know, don't do drugs, don't drink, you know, eat healthy, keep a healthy lifestyle, go to college, <laughs> definitely go to college or an IT school, something, don't just get out of high school, and which I highly doubt any, I can't imagine any of the three of you will, but uh, yeah, I, you know, if I can, and 
if you're faced with a challenge like what I've been faced with, take it and run with it, learn from it, help others, you know, be a role model to others with it. That's what I'm hoping that people say what I said to Mary when she was diagnosed. I hope that, you know, you can get positive stuff out of bad things. I'm Kelsey Seifer. I'm Zachary G. I'm Amanda Smith.